Hello, my name is Leonon Wolfgang and I am the coordinator for Hunt for Your Inner Sluts. I'm going to be giving um, a tutorial on how to be part of my grid-wide hunt. We will be going through some key points. Um, I figure that this will be something that might be easier for those of you who really don't like reading um, note cards, but I still advise reading the note cards. It comes in very handy later on. We're going to start with the um, application process. I used to use um, a note card um, setup, but since then I have decided to go for the, um, the online process. So basically, what you do is you go to huntforyourinnerslut.com, which is basically going to look like this. It's not exactly the most beautiful blog in the world, but we do what we can. <laughs> over here in the middle section over um, on the top here, there is the application. This is updated after the beginning of every, um, every hunt round. Right now, we are on the 8th but the application for the ninth is currently open. You go to this website and I do request that you guys actually read the information. It gives not only the the round number, it gives the dates, um, when the applications must be due, must be in by, after the date that is indicated, I do not accept any more um, any more applications, except maybe as fill-ins or for um, for next hunt. I also give the, the the theme and what you're going to be giving. I do request that there are no general sim stores. The reason being is because having a phallic symbol out in a general sim can actually get you um, reported to Linden Lab or myself um, because it is my object that's in your store. Let's not have that. That's not. That's not cool. <laughs> there are some um, some rules. I do ask that you actually read these through. Basically, simple ones like within 50 meters of your landing port, landing point, unless you're in a mall, in which case there needs to be a teleport board, or um, there your signer or entrance is within clear view of the, the landing point. There's a reason why I ask this because I do get newer people um, or people who have been away from SL for a while and are back in SL who are going to get lost easily if you do not um, guide them to the proper location. Um, do you remember that the, that the hunt object is, um, is a cock? Um, yes, I use the dirty word for it. Get used to it because you're going to hear it quite often in our hunt. It is a golden cock majority of the time. This time we put it into costume, but from now on, um, unless it's like a major holiday like Halloween, maybe possibly um, Christmas if we land on that again, um, and Valentine's Day, we'll, we'll sometimes dress up the cock a little bit. Um, the application itself is rather straightforward. I ask if you're a returning um, store owner, that means it's somebody who has been in a previous hunt with us. Um, I have been asked a few times why I ask for another avatar. This is in case you have not been on for like a week or two and I cannot reach you. I need somebody that is able to reach you in real life, um, maybe via your, your Facebook, um, alternate IM, email, anything like that, or somebody who has mod rights to your items, um, maybe your partner, maybe your, um, your husband, wife, um, doesn't matter, somebody that you trust, never, never give your modification rights to anybody that you do not explicitly trust, and never, ever, ever give your, um, login information to Second Life to anybody, I don't care if you've been married to them in SL for three years. Do not give it unless you live with that person in real life. Um, people break up. Things change. <laughs> do not 
um, do not screw up your ability to get on to Second Life because you are quote unquote in love with somebody. <sighs> um, that was my 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 little um, <laughs> off <laughs> hint, um, uh, off hunt advice for the day. Um, I do actually this time ask for an SL URL. The hunts following this, we will not be asking for this. I will explain later. Marketplace information. Um, I do ask for it on here. It is not required. Um, there are people like myself who have marketplaces that are pains in the butts to update and we don't do it. There are other people who love to do that stuff. So if you got it, have at it. Give it to me. <laughs> um, region rating. There's, um, like I said before, there are reasons why I do not allow PG in general stores because we have a penis and um, naked bodies and sexual inf um, sexual connotations are not allowed in the places where littles are. Um, so mature and adult only, please. Um, if you have any rec any questions as to what um, how to tell how um, what kind of place you're in, it's right here. Mine is moderate. You can have adult, moderate, um, etc. Um, after you fill out this information, just hit submit and it will be um, put on a spreadsheet for me. You only have to fill out once. Um, do not submit multiple applications unless you have multiple stores. You can also um, submit for um, for different store locations. Um, if you want to put out more than one cock in your store, go ahead and just um, notify me under hints, which is right here. Um, just put yes, I know. Um, yes, I know. Um, well ignore the, that information up there. You're going to click right there and then you're going to put in um, like, you know, I have several hints or something like that. Um, do, pl do try to give me hints beforehand, by the way. I do require that all hints are in by the 10th of the month before the hunt starts. This is to make sure that I'm able to properly promote your store. Back to the game. <laughs> I have just told you how to do that. When you are oh, before you are approved, the minute that you um, put in your application, start thinking about what you want to make. Um, I give a theme. I do request that you stay as close to the theme as you possibly can. Um, this time around, it was sexy Halloween, so I asked people to either do something that was Halloween or autumn-y. So, you know, if you don't want to make, um, ghosts and, and ghouls and, and witches and, and demons and stuff like that, then what you do instead is you go with the autumn colors, brown, gold, um, orange, purple, black. Um, all of those colors are associated with autumn, with Halloween. Um, if you cannot make the I'm right then, try to start as soon as possible. Do not wait until the last week. That makes it impossible for you to make a superior product that really shows what you sell in your store. Um, do remember that a hunt item should be a high quality item that you would proudly sell in your, in your store, not something you just slap together in a hurry. <laughs> Um, whether or not you get approved, go ahead and make it early. If you don't get approved, go ahead and sell it. I mean, it's it's your product. You do not have to um, to toss it out afterwards or toss it out if you are not accepted by me. Go ahead and sell it and make that make that extra money. Um, okay, next up, welcome kits. Um, let me give you an idea as to what you would be getting. It's actually, um, I, <laughs> I should have had this open beforehand, but you'll see, you'll see the, the mess I got going here. What you normally get from me is, oi, wrong one, there we go. 
what you'll get from me is a welcome package from Hunt for Your Inner Slut that's in a folder. I will also write to you and I will ask you to let me know that you got it. Please, please, please write to me and let me know that you did get the, um, the, the folder and the sign. This is the sign right here. This is a full perm logo um, so that you can put it on your blog, on your picture, um, whatever you want to do to indicate that you are with us. You don't have to do it, but some people um, request that. The sign is quite easy to work with. You just pull it out. You put it within sight of your landing point. Normally we just have one penis on it and the penis is golden, but this time due to Halloween we decided to dress him up a little bit and give him um, two separate costumes for our store owners to pick out. Just slap it up within, um, within sight of your location and boom, there you go. It looks just like that. Um, inside of the sign is a few things. Two um, landmarks. One of them is for the main office for Hunt for Your Inner Slut. The other one is for the satellite Hunt for Your Inner Slut office that is at Chest Treasures. There is also a note card that is information for your customers and prospective hunters. This gives a little bit of information about our hunt, um, what we what we give away, also the group, the website, the Flickr, and the Facebook. Also, when the hunts will when the hints will be revealed, please feel free to point your um, your customers over to that sign to help you out show them that you are going to be giving away a free item soon <laughs> let me go ahead and take that back up you will also get not only that sign and that uh, full perm logo but you will also get this approval letter from me I um I update this a little bit for each one, but it always, always has this information right here. This is basically when the um, last day of applications is. This will be changing, by the way, I'm going to be changing it to the first instead. Um, during Between um, the 6th and the 8th, my real life husband and I actually work together to, um, to assign the lineup. We have about 20 sponsors to help pay for the website and for any upload costs for me. And, um, and then what we do is we put them into a bra. Yes, yes, I use an actual bra. We pull it like you would out of a hat. <laughs> This is to keep it as um, random and fair as we possibly can. The sponsors get pulled first and then everybody else. On the 10th, you get a folder with your objects, the next um, store landmark, and the instructions on how to properly fill this out. I will show this very shortly. On the 14th, um, by 11.59 p.m., or 23:59 for those of you who are um, who are military and international time. Um, I would like the the cocks put up by then. You can put them up on the 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. I just request that you actually have them up before the hunt starts on um, the stroke of midnight on the 15th. Um, just like I said, read this through. It gives a little bit a little bit of information. Please ignore the snoring behind me. <laughs> okay, so we um, I have now shown you that um, the final folder is um, oh and I just oh yeah here it is. <laughs> the final folder what you're going to get is um, this is how I do the information for the hunt. Let me get myself back up here. I line it up like this. I break it up in the blocks. But just to show you for um, for 
information. On this one, we had two. We normally just have one cock that we give you. Um, you get um, the object, which is a cock. Um, it will be golden next time. Um, you get the landmark for the next store. And you get the final instructions. The object, you just basically bring it up. Let it res. And this is what it looks like for this time. It normally, like I said, it's olden, but this time we had a little bit of fun um, dressing him up. You will open up the note card. Please, 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 please read the note card. There is a saying in the technical field, um, RTFM. That means read the fucking manual. <laughs> I know. I know, it's probably not um, not polite to use uh, rough language, but this is Hunt for Your Inner Slut, so I'm going to be blunt with you. Read the fucking note card. I worked very hard to write this thing, and somewhere in each of the note cards is a special word that you must, that you must IM to me so that I know that you read it. Yes, yes, those of you who are in um, HYS 8, I do know that about 30 of you did not read this note card put through properly. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> I um, categorize what I need each of you guys to do in order to help me better promote your store and run this hunt smoothly. One of them is let me know that you received this folder. It helps me so much. I also need you to make sure that you give me your hint. When you get this, it's on the 10th. That is the due date for your hint. I need it. I must have it. If you are doing a hunt, a hint giver, let me know. It's quite easy. Just I am me. Two seconds. Come on, guys. Um, drop your ob drop your object on the floor, which I've already done there. You're going to open him up. Open him up. <laughs> and. You'll notice that it has your store name and your store number in the lineup. Um, you're going to go into the contents. You're going to click and drag in the next landmark. And then you're going to go through your items. Um, Helps if I remember what I have it under. Yes, there we go. You're basically going to go into your items. You're going to pick out what you're going to be giving in the hunt. And click and drag. And put it into there. Now, this is the bare minimum that needs to be in there. You can also take your landmark for your store and drag it into there if you have a note card that you would like to put into it no problem put one in there it's a great way to introduce yourself if you're if you're a new store owner or a little known store um, go ahead and promote your store give a little bit of information about uh, about it I'm gonna go ahead and delete that out of there for right now but you get them you get the, the general gist of the item you're going to go back into general, click for sale, click contents. This gives a folder so that there's, le there's less mess in Second Life. Hit zero and hit apply. It's really that easy to set him up. He is now ready and waiting for your hunt for your hunters to come by and pick him up. You'll hide him wherever you want to. Um, he's quite fun to hide. Your hunters will find him. They'll click him. And it says buy contents. Buy. And under their recent, they're going to have this folder that just came out of him. It's that easy. Um... I'm just going to delete him for right now. Less mess, right? <laughs> you 
you will get um, in your um, transactions on Second Life website um, a list of people who have bought the item. You can basically just go to your transaction history on secondlife.com and um, set it to from the beginning of the hunt to the end of the hunt or you know wherever your dates are um, and you can actually find just um, items from that object so if you want to keep track of how many hunters you've had this is a great way to do it you can also download into Excel or open office spreadsheet and boom you have all the information that you need right there to keep track um, also we're going to be well I'll explain later but we're going to be putting more scripts or putting a script into the cock that will also um, help that a little bit um, so I've gone through all that information I'm going to also give some information about some hint uh, some some hunt changes that we're going to be making um, from the beginning of this hunt we have been doing every four months we are actually increasing the hunts to every three months that means january april july and october um we're going to be throwing hunts there is a possibility that we might even increase it even more we will see how it goes from there um number two item um, on the on the changes we are going to be adding scripts to the sign and the object this is going to be very simple scripts that um, that what my um, my trusted um, advisors certified lunacy uh, pretty kitty design he um, has made some awesome scripts just for us the script for the sign will tell me when you put it out the script for the cock um, will tell me when you put him up and when you put him for sale or actually sorry it'll actually put it for it'll put itself up for sale after you put items into him so this way you don't have to put it up put him up for sale anymore hopefully if it works right um, and you won't have to worry about me having to chase you down if you already have it up um, I will only be coming after you if I do not get an email from the script letting me know that it's up and running Um, we will also be switching to landmarks only. No more SL URLs given. Um, on the hint page, um, if I may pull it up really quick, the current one that I have running um, gives your number, your SL URL, um, with a link. Um, basically, it opens up a new page with the map from secondlife.com um, people hit visit, um, visit this location and then um, open um, open program that's how we've been doing it from um, until now now we're basically not going to be giving this line anymore it's just going to be your store name and the hint um, we will instead be giving just the landmarks in the game so that way um, it's I know that for some people it might be a little bit of a of a pain if they're looking for just one store to go to we are actually trying to promote the hunters going to every single store um, this gives you all more um, more um, contact with the with the hunters make sure that the hunters go to every single store so that they can see new stores so they can get new products out there you know stores and, and products that they have not seen before um, oh and the last one the application cutoff has been on the fifth of every month I have decided for the sake of my sanity and getting you all um, approved faster, we're going to start doing it on the 1st instead. This kind of breaks my OCD thing about 5, 10, 15. <laughs> for those of you who know me, who have been with me for a while, you understand that. But we have decided that the 1st is going to be easier on my sanity. 
Um, so it'll be on the first applications are um, are required to be in. On the 10th, um, I will hand out all the objects, and on the 15th we start. So it, um, that basically is the last of my information that I'm going to be giving this time around. If you have any requests, any questions, any comments, any screaming rages, actually no, leave those, leave those somewhere else. I don't need them. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> come to me. I am very approachable. I am very friendly. And I will do whatever I can to make a hunt better for you and for me too. Um, I will put my login information, or not my login information, <laughs> I will give you my legacy name and information on how to contact me in the, um, in the notes underneath this video. Write to me anytime. Thank you so much for actually sitting through this whole entire video um, with dog snoring and everything. <laughs> I hope to see you in the hunts. Enjoy and lusty regards.